Hi guys, I'm Trainer Dan, and today we're looking at a prone row on the bench, working through on the lats and the upper back. Nice sort of middle trapezius area, rhomboids, etc. Very, very, very good exercise, and uh, it's quite easy to set up. Obviously, we've got a bench, but there's some little details that I want to go through to ensure that you're getting a really good hit through the back. Okay, uh, first of all, bench angle. Uh, this is just set at a 45 degree. We don't want to be too high, otherwise we're not gonna get any pressure through the back. Uh, so we want that nice sort of prone position as we're in there. Uh, once we're down into position, our position on the bench, you don't want to be too flat down. So it's pointless being sagging down here, okay? Because I can't work my posture enough. And uh, you need to be sat right up. And I always recommend that your chest is just off the bench because it's going to enable you, if you look up, I'm on my toes there, it'll able, enable your positioning to just straighten right the way up. And you'll feel that really lock in then all the way down that lower back, all the way through infraspinatus, right down uh, into that lower back region. If we've got a good posture there, we're going to get a fuller workout as we go through that prone row. So we want that chest puffed out all the time. Uh, and one thing I want to go through as well is before I even get onto the dumbbells is you have got to work with this exercise. You can't just uh, be sort of here and just moving the arms. Uh, the, the back is a very large muscle group. There's a lot of muscle groups that we're trying to hit and you've got to manipulate your posture through that range of movement on every single repetition to make it the best workout for you. And by that, what I mean is, uh, we've got this chest upright to begin with, and I've straightened up at the top there, so I'm not just sagging over like I've just demonstrated. I can feel my lower back engaged, okay? And then, then as we go through uh, the actual pull into the side of the body, we've got to get these shoulders back, and we've got to get the chest out into it. Now, I'm not leaving the bench, okay? I'm simply letting the chest inflate, and I'm letting these shoulders come right the way back with me. So it's gonna be more than just simply pulling the arms up into the side. And one thing you'll find is when you start to fatigue, you'll start to come a little bit flat down. We don't want that. So watch again, these shoulders are gonna come right back. You've gotta lift that chest out into it. You've gotta work through every bit of that range of movement. So I'll work through the dumbbells, it's a neutral grip that we're working, or palms inwards, so that's a palm sort of together towards the body, okay? Uh, and this is a good grip to have. It'll work a majority of uh, the, the upper back and the lats, and if we've got this posture set right, we've got a real good engagement through that lower back also. So there's your starting position. Look, I'm not sagging down, I'm right up, I've got my chest out, okay? And then from there, the first point of movement, it's gonna be my shoulders back, pushing those elbows up, inflating that chest, because when I inflate the chest, my back space closes down a little bit more, and then down into position. I don't want my elbows flailing out to the side, and I don't wanna be pulling up short into the bench. I need that coming right out to the side. So that posture up all the time, and then we're pushing through it. Breathe out through that left, shoulders back, chest out, keep them elbows by the sides, and then down. And then we've got a nice sort of rep sequence that we can put in there, breathing that, that repetition out. I'm straining as I'm talking there. Breathing those repetitions out as you go through and keep and maintain shape. Don't forget, you've got to work with that range of movement to get that contraction through the back. And that is the basic setup of your neutral grip, prone row, on a bench with a dumbbell. I'm training time. See you soon.